Hi, I'm Beryl, and the theme for today's video is pickled red onions. They are very, very easy to make and literally go on everything. Oh, what's that? Is this another song break? It is. <laughs> on a salad and omelet croissant, if you want it, a sandwich, of course, yeah, that's great. On hot dogs or tofu, on tacos, you want to, believe me, it makes me salivate. There's really no way you can make these here, say I'll eat them almost every day. Trust me, I know I'm obsessed with them, so I've decided to show you the way. <laughs> you guys egged me on. You said it was okay to sing in that other video. This is what you get. <laughs> we have fun. I don't know if you're still here. If you're still here, great. You're gonna learn how to make them. The artist for today is Audrey Moore. She is an illustrator from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She does a lot of illustrations about queer identity and black queer femme identity. I'm gonna leave a link to all of her URLs, yada, 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 in the description. And with that, let's pickle some onions. I think that to make really good pickled red onions, you need a slicer like this. The thing you have to be careful of is not cutting off the tops of your fingers. I have done that before. I also think that using red onions is better than just using white onions. So there's a difference of flavor, I would say. The nice thing about this slicer as well is you get these very even, thin cuts. Okay, see, I'm using the protective device now because I realized lead by example. <laughs> So I'm now gonna make the brine that we're gonna do this quick pickle in. You can take any sort of jar, you just want it to be airtight jar, and you can use white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, champagne vinegar, the key is just use vinegar. You're gonna put in sugar and salt. The ratios are gonna be in the description so that you can follow along for real. You wanna stir them until it completely dissolves and then pack in the onion, and you wanna pack it in quite tight so it's like really smushed in there, and then top it with water. I'm adding a couple peppercorns just because I want to. Uh, seal it and kind of shake it up a little bit, and you wanna leave it on the counter for at least an hour, and then put it in the fridge and you're ready. For my salad, the key for me is just tons and tons of vegetables and I'm using the sriracha tofu that I'm obsessed with. You can make it yourself or buy it from Trader Joe's. As for plating, I don't know, do I explain how to make a salad? Okay, lettuce. And then bada bing, bada boom, vegetables, tofu. I'm adding a little bit of feta, this everything but the bagel that I make. Oh, and here are the pickled red onions. They look so good. Oh, and I'm adding grape leaves because I'm currently obsessed with them and this is the dressing that I like. Salad without dressing is sad. I'm not, I'm not playing that game. And look at this beauty. She is beauty and grace. She is Miss Salad States. Okay, first of all, isn't it incredible how easy it is to make pickled red onions? Also, I just really believe that if a salad looks like a rainbow, it'll be easier to eat. I feel like when, you know, when people like have those really sad salads, like, Shutterstock of like sad woman with salad. That's what I always think about. Anyway, I never want to be that. I want to be woman laughing with salad. <laughs> like this. Did I look, did I look the right? <laughs> um, anyway, onions. Oh my God, they're perfect. They're amazing. They go on everything. Don't make me do the song again. <laughs> Sriracha tofu is actually really easy to make, like I said. But if you can buy it because you have a Trader Joe's near you, buy it. Mm. Okay, let's answer some questions. Whoa. Okay, how did you meet your hubby? I met him on a dating app. This was my profile. <laughs> Would you have clicked on me? <laughs> oh my God. It's really cheesy, but yeah, we met on a dating app. What is Asha eating? Is Asha eating? String? What's the vegetable you consider highly underrated? I don't, what vegetables are underrated? I'm not really sure. I guess like some of my favorite vegetables that I don't see often enough, probably hearts of palm. Those are really good. What made me go into this profession? There are a lot of questions actually about uh, like me and video and I'm just gonna do that like really annoying YouTube thing and refer you to another YouTube video that I made about this. How I got into video. 
I talked about like where I went to school and how I got into video, yada, yada, yada. And it was a fun video, so you should watch it. And it doesn't have that many views. Is it difficult to learn to cook? No. I mean, I don't think so. I think that a lot of people put a lot of stress on themselves to be like good at cooking, but cooking is just about having something taste good for you, right? So you just keep adding spice and salt until you like it. What's your Starbucks order? Um, cold brew, oat milk, one Splenda. <laughs> What's the furthest distance you've ever run? I'm running a marathon in October. I'm running a marathon in October, oh my God. Hi. <laughs> the furthest I ever got was 16.03 miles. I'm at, the, I'm at the East River, 15 miles in. I'm tired, my legs hurt, I'm kind of hungry. I'm just like, bleh, more miles. Maybe some of you noticed that I started this like run club and I'm gonna be organizing a global, I'm gonna call it a day of movement because if you're not into running, you don't have to run. But if you are into running, it could be a run day. Anyway, the point is, I'm gonna be organizing a global day for all of us to go do something together and I'm trying to get t-shirts made for it, which I think would be really fun. Do you film and edit everything yourself? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's your current favorite board game? Seven Wonders. If you're looking for a good two-player game, Carcassonne. This one is really easy to learn and very good for two people. Is your last name Jewish? Yes, it's actually Polish. Shereshevsky means that my family was from the shtetl of Shereshev. Not a question, but you look like Allison Hannigan. Um, it's funny, I actually get that a lot. Yeah, great, thank you. <laughs> well, this has been fun. The questions that I didn't get to, I will answer on Instagram, but I hope that you guys make pickled red onions. <laughs> that feels like a lifetime ago. I hope you make the pickled red onions and I will see you with a more highly produced video next week. Bye. <laughs>